Hey there, people. So I have to admit, I made my original video just showing you the pumpkin moon last week in a bit of a rush. But uh, there's a lot that I wanted to do and I wanted to show you, including all the drops, of course. And uh, to win the event, I'm going to need a little more strategy. So I want to show you the strategies, the drops, all that stuff. First of all, I totally forgot things like my minion, obviously. Um, so I've got my little UFO minion. He's going to help a lot. I've also got a little spider, sque spider queen. Uh, queen spider staff uh, that'll help my nimbus rod of course my rainbow gun is going to come uh, really important i did a couple rounds quickly here to uh, to test this stuff out as well um, also my mount is going to be very important but i'll show you that all in a second another very important thing is this right here um, big problem in winning the pumpkin moon event was that if i die i have to travel a large way to get back to my arena so what i did is create a little house in the sky i put my nurse right in there and a bed i set that as my spawn point uh so if i die i'll spawn right back there get a quick heal and i put platforms in the bottom so i can drop right back down into my arena again one thing i did note during the video last week was that uh, I would have done a lot better if I was in a nice flat area because the enemies basically are going to come from both sides and if there's any terrain or walls or holes or whatever for them to get stuck in, I'm not going to be able to fight them so well. So that's another thing as well. I've set all of this up now. Um, this actually happens to be the same little arena I had sort of set up for my uh, fight with the Old Ones army at the 1.3.4 uh, update. So yeah, it's a nice little flat area. I've put a bunch of banners here that I won uh, in a few previous attempts at what, <laughs> defeating the pumpkin moon. So I'm pretty confident now that uh, I will be able to do a little better. And another thing I'm going to show you, uh, hopefully, if I get the horseman's blade, that's the item I really, really want. The horseman's blade will be better than my influx waiver for this kind of event. Um, I have, of course, crafted the Terra Blade and I've won the Influx Waiver, both very good swords. The Horseman's Blade is arguably, it's it actually depends on the circumstance whether it's better or not than either of those swords. But uh, if I get it during the fight, I'll show you why it can be very good. And uh, we'll get to that. But we're almost ready to start the event. So I am going to just get myself in position. I've got my UFO ready. I'm gonna want my mount. Um, this guy fires lasers, so he's gonna help me a lot as well. I'm gonna want to set up a rainbow. I'm gonna wanna set up my Nimbus clouds. Now you don't necessarily need these exact items and weapons, but uh, these sorts of things will help. Basically anything that's going to be able to, to it's going to help you to do sort of constant damage while all the enemies are coming at you because the whole challenge was uh, as you saw in the previous one to kill enough guys fast enough which is why I'm gonna to want to start this right at the beginning and basically just kill as many people as I can fa as fast as I can because the main challenge is killing them fast enough to get uh, through the waves and so you can see here I'm already doing uh, quite a bit better um, getting through already through wave one into wave two i'm gonna kill these guys as fast as i can it's gonna change a little bit when the bosses start coming already into wave three my mount my minion helping very much i haven't even needed the rainbow gun actually I thought the rainbow gun, that'll get them on both sides. You know, I'll have that nice arc. It'll get them when they're coming from above. It'll get them coming from wherever. But truth is, they're dying before they even get to where that uh, happens. And it's a lot of work to try to maintain some of that. So, already in wave 5. I am going to get the rainbow gun going again. But i got to be careful not to uh, die. It is a very frantic event. And basically, I want to get to the bosses as quickly as possible. Oh, and there we are. That's the first boss. And just look at how much faster I'm uh, I'm doing damage. And of course, once you get to the bosses, you'll actually progress quicker because the bosses are worth more. So uh, this this event again is based on number of points uh, for killing everybody. So. I think at this point I'm ready to switch to my chlorophyte bullets, which will help me kill people even faster. So 
don't forget to heal, but again, uh, dying was one of my big problems before, and if I die now, it's not going to matter as much because I can just drop right back into the arena. And I won't lose my en enemies. He's there we go. Okay, fine, I died. Whatever, I'm going to be right above that. It does matter. It slows me down a little, but it matters less. So again, minions. Oh, okay. Well, it is going to matter. But you can see I'm already in wave 7, and I've got like six in-game hours, which is really just six minutes, so it's not a lot of time. But, uh... Gonna want my mount. If I can kill a couple of pump kings, I should get some good items. That is the biggest challenge. The pump king is very hard. There we go. And I can collect all those hearts. Also, I should be using my buff potions. Just another thing. See, it's it's uh, easy to forget things, you know. <laughs> when you're in the intense battle, I've already got headless horsemen in here. We're in wave nine. This is already way faster or way farther than I made it last time. Wave 10. I've still got f over four in-game hours. It's only four minutes. Not actually long, but... Oh, and I just earned an achievement, the frequent flyer, for going to the nurse so much. But, a. Hey. Heal, get the heart. Keep firing. So yeah, obviously it gets very challenging the later waves, but the more of these guys I kill, the more uh, I'm going to get the items that I want. So even without resorting to traps and all that kind of stuff, I keep a very close eye on the health. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it's already it's it's very very hard to stay alive. You need a serious serious weaponry. <laughs> Even getting all those things in place, as far as the uh, minions and all that stuff. Hitting the buttons fast enough is hard, but... That's why you keep those little stashes of hearts in place. I've got all of the bosses at once. But I made it to wave 11. Still got a couple uh, in-game hours to go. And hopefully I'll have lots of, uh, or at least some, <laughs> nice equipment. Uh, 
when this is all over. B is for buff, don't forget that one. <laughs> R is for mount. <laughs> and try to dodge. Again, having those, uh, that little platform actually helped more than I expected. I thought that was mostly going to be a platform for putting those ba uh, banners on that I earned from the various uh, enemies. But almost as much as anything, it's also a place to dodge. Well, made it to wave 12. Not much time left now though. Yeah, the later parts are going to be really challenging, and these strategies might not get you all the way through the event, but... <laughs> with that many bosses and all. But you use these basic strategies and, uh, you know, again, put out the things that are going to keep doing damage. And at least you got a shot at it. Of course, you can resort to traps. Oh, yeah, now they're all at... They're all going away because the event is over. But anyway, um, yeah, I was almost through wave 12. And uh, if I could play a little more frantically <laughs> and uh, maybe employ a few more little strategies, that would have done a little bit further yet. Oh, I did forget. I meant to put my moonstone in here. I've got my Avenger emblem. I've got my Ankh shield. That moonstone would have helped as well. Uh, you want to get any buffs you can. Uh, I did have a pumpkin pie here, swiftness potion, regeneration, iron skin, all that stuff. All important, but let's see, did I get anything particularly useful? Uh, doesn't look that way, <laughs> unfortunately. I was hoping that I could kill a few more of the bosses uh, and get, you know, for instance, the... Get the horseman's blade in particular. I am out of, uh, more or less out of hallowed bars, so I don't think I can do it again. But hopefully that'll give you an idea of how to um, make a go at actually beating the event. I got most of the way through it there. And if I keep at it, I can probably make it. Got some more banners. Um, of course, I think only one applies at a time, but uh, yeah. Got lots more spooky wood, which is what I made that out of, by the way, my spooky spooky little house here uh, and you can see how that helped a lot but of course not dying doing more damage um, you got to do everything that you can to do as much damage as possible and at the same time try not to die <laughs> so uh, that moonstone would have helped um, you can put various other things together sniper scope uh, along with your uh, other emblems anything that's going to increase your damage anything that's going to increase your defense use your mounts, use your uh, minions, and etc. And uh, that's that's all I can really say to you. The, the further along in the game you are, the better off chance uh, you'll have. I got a ton of money. That's another thing that is worth mentioning. The event is worth a ton of money. I made over one platinum just on that little run right there. So keep that in mind as well. It's useful to keep going at it. And uh, the, more, the farther along, the more you learn. Now, what I was going to tell you about the Horseman's Blade, even though I didn't get it, is uh, basically when you attack someone with the horseman's blade, it spawns little pumpkin heads, uh, homing pumpkins that actually home in on all the enemies. And so that's what I was going to do here is I've got my slime statue and I had some wires connected to it and I was just going to pop this timer in here so that it would automatically generate uh, slimes. And then I can basically just hit them with the horseman's blade and that would... Uh, spawn those pumpkins and that would help me to those pumpkins would go and kill all the other enemies that's what I was going to show you but fortunately I didn't get quite far enough didn't defeat quite enough bosses to get everything that I wanted to show 
But I hope that uh, helps out a bit, and I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.